Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. My parents are still upstairs asleep. Last night we went out to dinner and just chilled out and then all went to bed early. And Steven is at work right now. Bubba's is, oh, he was on the landing. Now he's right here and does he want to go outside? Come here. Should, show them your snow. Show them the snow. I love when he comes in from the snow. Did you catch some snowflakes? Let's get a cookie. I should share one of Bubba's new favorites. Bubba's favorite treat currently is the turkey and cranberry dog treats. He is obsessed with that. I get you another one. So I am going to play a little bit of music to get the day started and I'm actually going to play my Spotify playlist for Christmas. This has actually been up since October. A couple of you have already found it. I am going to finally leave it linked down below for you. I was going to wait for Vlogmas but you might as well enjoy it now so it'll be linked down below. Go and enjoy it. My cell phone was in the washer. I ordered these Georgetown cupcakes. They're delivered UPS. I ordered them Friday. It's a surprise for Steven. We will see if they are okay. So I'm going to set you down. So I ended up just getting their Thanksgiving dozen. The box looks a little mangled. And just like at Christmas time, they are absolutely perfect. <gasps> so you can ship cupcakes and they will come perfectly every time. But this is what they look like. Yeah, I'm so excited. Steven will be so excited. He went a run. My mom is having her. <laughs> You look beautiful. My mom is hiding. So I am here with my mama. Um, we are getting ready to go shopping. I don't know what we should, I don't, now that Steven's doing the grocery shopping, I don't know. We can just create havoc. Oh, this is, I don't know what we should do. Where do we go? Is there anything that, like is big on your list? Or like something you're really looking for? Like I know you want to go to Williams Sonoma, but we will do that tomorrow, Friday. I'm an online shopper more than a store shopper. Amazon? Yeah. Ring a dingy my doorbell. <laughs> I love Amazon. I have to intercept packages. I know, but that's so the Steven. I think like they're, I don't know, a lot of malls have gone out of business. I do like small. It's just, it's so convenient. It is. I, shipping, I love shipping. small stores though. Like I love like a I like little like, tea. yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Not what you guys said. Let's do Barnes & Noble, Trader Joe's, and then from there we'll figure out life. So, Mom and I have gone to Barnes & Noble. Uh, she got me a Rifle Paper Company um, calendar for 2019. And then I found a Tim's Fraser for a candle. I usually buy them online every year, as you guys know. Um, but they had them at Barnes & Noble, so we picked one of those up. And now, we are in line to get something to drink at McDonald's, because we're dying of thirst. But we were just talking about her stuffing. Her stuffing is literally the best thing. I would say if Sis and I were to ask you to cook one Anything. thing, it's stuffing. So, Mom, what is the key to your stuffing? It'll go to the grave with me. <laughs> Where did you get the recipe My from? My mother. So, what, what, what do you do? Because it feels like, I feel like there should have been more ingredients no, than what... Celery, onions, Break up your bread, let it sit out a while so it gets stale. 
and then you put it and all that in a bowl with salt and pepper and then you take and you melt a stick of butter pour that over it mix it okay and then you take um, two probably the amount of stuffing I always make I use two eggs break your eggs in there and then wet it with my mother growing up would wet it with hot water okay and that's all she would use but I use chicken broth and I just moisten it to it it has to get the right I can't explain how how I don't measure anything so I can't explain how much broth but I just know the texture and you, I, if you don't put it in the bird, I put it in a pan for about a half hour in the oven, 350. And you kids love it. It's so good. It's I think simple. I prefer, I think I like it in a pan better than in the turkey. Oh, really? Yeah. Turkey gives it more flavor, I, I think. I feel like, wasn't there something you're not supposed to stuff, your stuffing in a turkey? You have to walk, you have to be careful, make sure it gets the right temperature. Wow. So you don't Hi. get Hello. But it's so simple. I... It's so good. I, I made her bring extra it's just good. so we can. It's good cold too. I, I made her bring extra just so I can have it here because I will be hoarding it. Thank, thank you. You too. Well, you. Jesse keeps saying I'm adding something. I'm not telling her, but that's all it is. It's just the love. Do you know how much bread you use? No. She came with a Ziploc bag of like dried bread that she's no, been tearing. No, I have it. I have it in a big. No, in a big bowl. That's right. So you just sat, watch TV, and tore bread. Yeah, that's about it. Mom and I are home. We ran a bunch of errands, and I'll show you what we picked up. So we ran to Trader Joe's. I've never done like a little grocery haul, but we just picked up a couple random things. So I got these apple cider donuts, and of course some apple cider and then I picked up some cheese because I'm gonna make like a cheese board later so I got some Parmesan some New Zealand cheddar this is like one of my favorites and then this pepper jack cheese and then have a bunch of other soft cheeses I picked these up for Steven because these are literally one of his favorite things the maple cookies then I picked up just for movie night tonight some nutty popcorn trio has macadamia nuts and pecans and almonds. Got some white bread, got some sourdough bread for sandwiches for the day after Thanksgiving. Also picked up some pine that I'm just gonna throw in some vases around the house. Then we went to the local dairy and I got a quiche for tomorrow at Barnes and Noble. I was shocked. But they had the Tim's Fraser Fur Candle. And I was going to order one online because I get one every year. And they actually had the large green one, which this which this vessel will look so good in my office um, because of the dark green. So grab that as well. And then also at Trader Joe's, I picked up these crispy broccoli florets because I wanted to try them. And then mom bought Steven and I calendars. So this one is for our house. This one is for Steven's office. It's a set of National Hole Parks. And then these little Anne of Green Gable tags. So super excited about that. Now we're gonna get all of this put away. I'm gonna get the pine and vases around the house and then we will catch up. Good morning, everybody, and happy Thanksgiving. Um, it is 6.20 in the morning, and everyone is upstairs asleep, and I am just making some homemade cranberry sauce. I have a cup of sugar and a cup of orange juice, and right now I'm just trying to dissolve all the sugar in the orange juice. All right, that's almost all dissolved. So I'm just gonna rinse out these, and then we're going to cook these in the orange juice for about 10 minutes until they start to pop. I'm also going to add some orange zest over there. I don't have any oranges, but those will be just fine. So I've added the cranberries and the orange zest. It smells so good. I'm gonna keep this on medium for about 10 minutes till the cranberries start to split, and then 
take it off, let it cool, put it in a container, put it in the fridge, and it'll be ready for dinner time. We are up and getting breakfast ready. My mom is making some bacon. We are also going to make some French toast. So we got some cinnamon swirl bread for our French toast. We're just getting everything ready. We have a pot of coffee made. Say good morning, mom. Good morning, happy Thanksgiving. She says happy Thanksgiving. And then for coffee, we are using that Vermont Maple Grove coffee. Um, I'll leave this link down below. I buy it on Amazon. It is delicious. And then I set out a lot of the advent calendars because last night Stephen finished all the office furniture and the office is put together. So we will go look at that in a little bit. But right now we're gonna get breakfast going and then I'll catch up with you. The parade is about to start. And I might as well turn on the fire. And look at this little beast. He's not feeling well this morning. He's not feeling well, so he is cuddled up and resting. Let's turn on the fireplace. All right, fireplace is on. Tree is going. Mom is cooking. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Nothing beats a mom breakfast. Or a mom. <laughs> Just a mom in general. We need to have good sustenance for tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. Bubby, actually, I didn't tell you. We're going at 2 a.m. today, tomorrow morning. So get a nap. No, I'm kidding. I would never do that. Don't say never. I'm hey. Sure you've done it I've never done oh, like that crazy. Get up early? No. We've gotten up early, but not like that early. Bubby, all of a sudden you feel better? I think you were faking it. All right, we're gonna keep, well, mom is gonna keep making breakfast because I'm clearly doing nothing. Mom and I are going to get started on our puzzle. Um, the, here's the pine from Trader Joe's. I also put some out in the kitchen here. Let me show you. I put the other set of pine right there. Looks so good. Um, Mom and I are going to start our puzzle, which is this great one I picked up from Amazon. It's only 300 pieces, so I thought we could probably get it done quickly. But it's Thomas Kincaid National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. So, we're gonna put this together today, or probably not today, but we're on it starting today. Also, in my gramophone, I'm going to go ahead and play my Christmas playlist. So let's make sure we're shuffling. Okay. I love how that sounds. We have been working for like an hour and I would say we made a ton of progress. So we have like all of the house done, all the people down here. We have a couple of the pieces. And then we really just have like the sky to do. And we have like this bowl of pieces left and these. So yeah, mom, I'd say 300 pieces are pretty like great to work with. Yes, three to five, no more than five. The thousand piece we did last year was so hard and the pieces seem so tiny. So, yeah, I can't wait to get it done. We'll probably finish it today, based off of how fast we're going. I should actually get out of my pajamas, get cleaned up, and get ready to start cooking in a little bit. Bubby's all dressed for Thanksgiving. Don't yeah, torment him. You get a Thanksgiving cracker? Yes, I am. This is the family, Those, that's Steven's parents. That's their dog, Casey. This is my dad here with Lacey, their miniature poodle. Mom and I have been cooking. You've seen her a lot. Steven, you know him. And Bubba's has his squirrel sweater on, looking so handsome. And his collar. His gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Mm -hmm. there you go. We are eating, snacking on some cheese, and we have everything else ready to go. How's it going, Mom? 
good. But the house looks so festive and yeah, it's just a great time with family. Bubby, do you want some? Looky, what's up here? 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 <laughs> How was dinner, everyone? How was dinner? Bubby, how was dinner? How was dinner? How was dinner? He wants more. What was it? How was it? For dessert, we have some pies, the Georgetown cupcakes, and everything else. So, yep. All right. I think I'm gonna go put comfy clothes on. Okay. It's time for a bathrobe and sweatpants. That's, it's always time for those. That's a real close up. I think we are going to work on the puzzle a bit. Um, we have so much done already. The tree one near but... So mom and I have done the puzzle, but <laughs> we are missing one piece. The whole puzzle is done and one piece is missing. So we're on a hunt. No, I think I might have seen it. The last piece. Da -da 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 -da. So here is the Grizzle. finished puzzle. It's all done. That was fun. That's a good puzzle. We said we would not go to sleep until no, it's done. No, and now that it's done, I can finally <laughs> go to sleep. Yay! See you guys in the morning. Mom and I just got back from Black Friday shopping and I did some damage. Mom was very well behaved. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you. You don't want filmed? So I'll go ahead and show you really quick what I picked up. Um, I'm really excited about it. So um, for the kitchen tree, I'm gonna do some blue and some red ornaments. So I picked those up at Target along with these really cute like little puffs and then initial letters. You will be seeing all of that coming shortly. Then I grabbed some mittens just because I needed some. I also got this hysterical light up reindeer sweatshirt. Bought myself the big Christmas bundle. So inside here, because they don't do advent calendars, but they do do collections. So we will pull something out of this every single day. But this has, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It has 18 different products, so it will last me most of the month. And then I thought the box was super cute for in my office then. So I picked that up for myself at Lush. It'll kind of be like my Lush advent. And I will leave everything linked below that I bought. Then I went to Anthropology because it was 30% off everything, and I picked up a few things. So you all know I love a good Anthropology dish towel. So I bought this Nutcracker one, which I think is so cute. And then also this little Christmas tree one that I've had my eye on. My mom at Anthropology got me a mug. I've cleaned out all my mugs, but I feel like I've easily restocked them all. But my mom bought me this mug, and is that not adorable? I'm obsessed with it. Then I bought two more mugs um, because I just thought they were too cute. I love that they're like square on the bottom. They were $12 and they're little nutcrackers. So I bought two of those, but I believe this one is slightly different. Yes, this one is like a Santa Claus, but still like that square bottom. Like I said, everything is linked below. Then we need a new pizza cutter and they had this rabbit one. It's $28, it was 30% off. I had to pick it up because I just think it's the cutest thing ever. 
Then I, the last thing I picked up at Anthropology is our, you guys know that this is like my candle this year. And it is the Snow Cypress Five Wick from Anthropology. The container is also just like stunningly beautiful, but it is actually it's six wicks, a little dusty. Um, but I will show you the one that I just bought. Hey, Bobby. The one that I just bought is almost completely, completely gone. And then the last thing, I know Small Business Saturday takes place tomorrow, but mom and I went to a new home store that just opened and I found this pillow for the couch. It is by the company Sugar Boo and Company. Um, I will leave any of the information that I have. It was $120, but look at it. It's all hand stitched. It says everything is possible, has little stars. This is like a winter Wonderland advent calendar and each day you pull out a new little piece to it. So, oh, this is so cute. Um, I can't wait to do this with all of you, but you pull out each day a new box and you build like a little winter wonderland. This is from a place called Scandinavian House. This is a candle and each night you mark it off as you burn it and it goes 24 nights. Mm, it smells really good. Once again, we'll also leave this linked down below. So that is what I picked up on Black Friday. I'm super excited about everything. Good morning everybody and happy Saturday. Um, my eye just got home from the gym and all cleaned up and um, waiting for everyone to wake up. My parents are leaving today because my sister is going to be coming to their house um, to visit. So they have to get home and welcome them, but we have had an amazing time. Last night, I ended up using those decorations I picked up at Target to decorate the Christmas tree, and it's so cute. So this is the tree in the kitchen, or breakfast nook. And then I put C, S, and B's all over it and just did this red and teal color because there is red and teal in that tree there. Um, and I decided just to keep this one a little bit simpler, no ribbon, and I just love these like yarn ornaments. I just think they're so pretty. These are the homemade ornaments I made with the gilding. I absolutely love these and I added like a little piece of pine into each of them and I just think they're so pretty. Next year, I think I'll do an entire tree of those with just like solid copper, silver, and gold ornaments or mercury glass. I think that will be the theme for next year so I can get a jump on it. In other exciting news, you'll notice our microwave is gone. Last night, the microwave completely crashed. So um, Steven and I will be purchasing a new one today. We've been looking online and figuring out what kind of microwave we want. There's actually a smart microwave that actually runs on Alexa. So you'd be like, Alexa, and like set the timer on the microwave, and that is something we're considering. Hello. Alexa, stop. But um, I'm gonna make a cup of coffee, and I'm actually going to use one of my mugs that was just washed. Look at this mug. Isn't that the cutest? It's from Anthropology. I'll leave it linked down below if you don't have an Anthropology near you, but it's just the cutest. So we're gonna make some coffee. So I'm just gonna have some fruit and some coffee. And that mug didn't go in far enough. So this might not be a mug I can use in the Nespresso but I will just stand here and hold it. I'm just gonna be standing here holding my coffee mug in place and then I will catch up with you after breakfast. So for breakfast this morning, I picked up a broccoli 
and cheddar quiche from the bakery. And I think that's pretty well heated through. We don't have a microwave, so we'll have to make it work. And now I'm gonna use my amazing new rabbit pizza cutter. Our new microwave is here. It is the Smart Inverter Microwave Oven from LG. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get this all figured out. Let's see if we can get it in its spot. Happy Sunday. It is Sunday morning, it is 9 a.m. and I am going to start filming the rest of the holiday gift guide. So it is done and I get it to today. Um, new microwave is in, we love it. It is a very cheerful microwave. <clears throat> it does a couple cool things. It's all touch screen here. So you adjust it by sliding your finger around. Um, and it's just, listen to the tone of it. It's just cheerful. That is one happy microwave. So I was wrapping up the holiday gift guide and for some reason my footage, the audio was all weird um, and wasn't showing up and like going out in certain spots. So I had to refilm the entire 2018 holiday gift guide this morning. It is 1030 and I have spent the last two hours filming or hour and a half. Um, yeah, and then the worst part is while I was filming, I dropped something on top of my Tim's Fraser fir candle and I shattered it into a bunch of tiny pieces. I'm so sad, but I can always like break the candle out and still use it, but ugh, so disappointed. Oh, also we are in my new office. I actually filmed in here today. Let me show you a little bit of the office. We'll do like a more official tour. But when you enter, this is what it looks like. So I have like this leopard rug, this marble table, the green velvet chair, this here with three of my favorite books on it. This uh, Mongolian fur stool is from West Elm. I have some snowflakes hanging. I have a little tree over there in the corner, a couch, and then over here is my desk. It's on casters so I can move it wherever I want it to be. And then I have this wall of bookcases and a TV that's really just for watching YouTube videos. And then, yeah, that's my office. And there is the bathroom. And then in here is a big walk-in closet storage space. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, there's still lots of like things to do on the walls and things like that, but yep. All right, I'm gonna have to re-edit 2018 Holiday Gift Guide, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this guy yet. I will figure out what I will do in a minute with him. So, point of the story, we think we have everything together. We make plans and God laughs, but we will figure it out and we'll make it work. All right, so I'm just gonna hit the lights. I'm gonna throw some laundry in and start re-editing something that I had already done. Story of a YouTuber's life. I am sitting here. I finally have finished re-editing the holiday gift guide. It is all done. It is all reshot. <laughs> it's like 26 minutes long because it's like a beast to do. So the fact that I've done it now twice is so frustrating. But I'm so excited to share it with all of you. Isn't that attractive? The majority of time, your face looks ridiculous. But like a good, like that, that's a good look. It is about 4.45 and I am running to Michael's because I need stuff for a tree topper. Um, I look a disaster. I should probably put this hat on, it might help things. But I don't know if anything can help. Hmm. 
I don't know if that helps or makes things worse. I think it would help if I didn't have my glasses on, but it is a glasses kind of day. But we are going to run to Michael's. We are looking for a couple things. I think I need to add a little bit of red to the Christmas tree um, to help tie it together with the kitchen tree. So thinking about doing that. And then also I need to get some things to top the kitchen tree. So that's what we are going to run to Michael's and look for. This will come as no surprise, but the more and more I looked at the living room tree, there was just still something missing for me. So I've literally ripped the entire tree apart. Like I've taken off every single ornament. I went to Michael's. I got some greenery that I want to add to it. All the ornaments are over there. There's a table full of picks and things. I'm just going to play around and see if I can figure out what's missing. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. I messed with the tree and it's exactly what was missing. I am so happy with it. So what I ended up doing is really resorted some of the ornaments, added the red ribbon on top of the mesh ribbon, and then added some sprigs of like glittery cypress and things. And it just, I knew I wanted to pull in a little bit more red. I'm really, really happy with it. I think it looks beautiful. And then over here now, this tree flows a lot better with the red. So I added some berries, a little bit of sparkle, and then did the topper. And it's just teal and silver and red. I'm really, really happy with it. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. All right, my friends, so it is Sunday night. It is 10 o'clock and it is time for me to head to bed and to get the week started. I hope that you make the next week everything you want it to be and attack any dreams and goals that you have for yourself um, because it's never too late to start. But in the meantime, I'm gonna sign off this vlog like I sign off all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends. Bye.